Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Trails of Cold Steel 4 Part 120. In the previous video we faced off against Victor and McBurn, and we won, I mean, in few attempts, but a long period of time, basically. Our, uh, you know, number of attempts, fairly low. Overall time taken, uh, a little on the high side. Partially just because I was, I was maybe a little too defensive. Um... But, you know, I'd rather take an hour to win than be close to winning in 30 minutes and then throw, I guess, is how I feel about that. I don't know if we're going to have, like, a real fight here. Uh, I assume it's just going to be, like, a Panzer Soldat something or another. I can't think of who we would fight at all. Um, I did at least equip Seraphic Ring on you, like I should have had from the start, and I gave you Valhalla back. There it is. Just like the magic barrier Jenner we saw back in the Gargantua. Can you shut it off, Sharon? It's based on a standard RF design, so I should be able to work it out. Considering the modifications Lady Maribel may have made, it might be advisable to destroy it. But I just can't discount the possibility of being booby-trapped. Agreed, shall we? Oh, I'd prefer if you didn't. It's a very important part of our experiment. Okay, I guess it is you. It's her! Bro, we just fought Victor and McBurn at the same time. Mario Bell? The wellspring alchemist herself? Welcome, Class 7. And you as well, Crew. Crew? Oh, wait. It's Sharon now, isn't it? Well, technically it's Sharon Kruger, so you're still right. Of course, you're probably not on a first name basis with her anyway. It was quite clever of you to use Arkansas as a distraction. I'm impressed. After everything else, now we have to fight a higher rank member of Boros? Yeah, but like the Anguis, they don't really like, you know. Just because they're Anguis doesn't mean they're stronger. If anything, most of the Anguis have actually been weaker than the Enforcers. It's really just Aryan Road of the Enforcers or the Anguis we know of. I gotta deal with Burn too. What a pain in the neck. And we don't yet know what the Alchemist is capable of. But we owe to everyone who's come to our aid to not give up no matter what. Come this far, there's no way we're leaving without shutting the generator down. Oh, don't you worry your little heads over it. I don't intend to get in your way. In fact... I mean, considering especially we fought Mario Bell with her and... Who helped... Who you have helping you out? Shirley and... Campanella? And you still got your ass beat? I mean, that's so embarrassing for you. Oh, we're going to fight an Ion, probably, I would guess. Huh? It stopped. What is this all about? <laughs> the rivalries are what I'm truly interested in. Or rather, what they'll bring about. Now that you've proven yourselves worthy participants, I have no reason to interfere. Lady, like, we've already beaten you up. What do you mean, proving yourselves? Think of it as a little apology from me to you, to make up for me bringing that hideous machine of Alberix here. I don't understand. What do you stand to gain from this? I know you and the Chancellor aren't exactly united front, but... It seems it's nearly reached the best part. It's been a while since I last saw them perform. Perhaps I'll go and watch for a spell. Until we meet again. I look forward to seeing if humanity can surpass the powers of legend. Alright, okay, she just showed up for no reason. She's just as esoteric as ever. She could in fact be even more formidable than the society's previous third Anguis. I mean, I guess. I mean, technically, considering that, you know, Wiseman got dunked on by Stella and Joshua, and he must not have really been all that strong, in hindsight. We should count our blessings. Our work here is done. All right, let's get out of here and head to the rendezvous point. Sounds good. Elliot, Altina, and Sully really came through for us.
Well, I pulled off. I mean, I was a little like confused about what we were gonna fight there, but I guess they just put the healing machine there just to fake you out, which I can approve. I didn't really pay attention to Oliver's eye. You can see that he's got it all closed and everything. Okay, Sully still got hops, and we didn't really get to fully see it, but... That was beautiful, Sully. Absolutely marvelous. Everyone was just fantastic. <laughs> Ilya, <laughs> Rishia, we did it. Moral of the story: steal from the rich. That's that's the moral of Sully's story. If you steal from the rich, good things will happen to you. I've never heard such loud cheering. Ah, but of course. What more could a performer ask for in return than rancorous applause and beaming smiles? Maybe two eyes? <laughs> oh, right. I wonder how Reen and the others did. <laughs> what if they just died? <laughs> what if McBurn had fucking killed them off screen and they're all like happy and then they get the news that they were return reduced to a pile of burning ash? Uh, you forgot all about the plan, didn't you? Honestly. I can't say I blame her. <laughs> a perfect harmony all around. The power of music never fails to surprise me. That makes two of us. Elliot, look! That makes no sense, but like, that's cool, I guess. I mean, I guess he would be maybe deployed to the front line, so I guess it makes sense he'd be here, actually. Seems a little convenient, but well, well I'll let it slide. They came to uh, gross. Also, what the? Okay, that's a little much. You have no reason to be here. Aren't you busy? And then just shoot her. You really just do whatever you want, don't you? Does anyone actually like Mario Bell? Is there a single Mario Bell fan out there that's not like a, you know, just being contrarian? Like, if, like unless you, like, you know, people who don't base their whole personality on, like, I'm going to be, have the unpopular Damn opinion. Me. That girl was always such a busybody. No, I suppose I am not one to talk. I just, like, I just don't get Mario Bell. I feel like Mario Bell... Like, not just does she annoy me in this game, I feel like her character actually makes the series worse as a whole. Like, even going back to Azur. I thought I might have needed to give them a little help to get to Leanne, but they seem to have managed regardless. Because they had kind of had like a semi-decent villain going with Grimwood, and then like Mario Bell comes in and she's just like, no, no nuance, I'm evil. Yes, they're quite resourceful. Ah, Mr. Lysander. And one of those Heiwei people, was it? You guys do know the world's ending in two days, right? Like, don't you guys... Do uh, you have anything to do? It's a pleasure to meet you. We happen to run into each other by coincidence. Just to be clear, you're not here to cause any trouble, are you? Rest assured, we have no plans to interfere. But we don't intend to lend you our aid, either. I, for one... Plan to sit back and watch this land's fate unfold. You may be a conniving little weasel. But perhaps you are right. I too am curious as to how this will end. Well, yeah, I'd be curious too if it involved the world ending. My friendship with Leanne has lasted over the past 250 years. I would be remiss in not attending the grand finale.
Amidst deafening applause and cries for an encore, the rehearsal performance came to an end. Before the Imperial Defense Force had a chance to realize what was really going on, the key members made their way out. They then met up with Reen and the others at the old field exercise camp. That's a lot of people. What if they just like did a precision airstrike? Miller's group made preparations to return to Eastern Erebonia and rendezvous with the Thunder God. Free from the curse, Viscount Arce temporarily joined the crew of the Courageous. What do you think Tovo lost? I mean, Oliver lost an eye. Victor lost an arm. You think Tovo lost anything? I think he's like just just missing like a foot. He just hasn't come up yet because he doesn't take his shoes off. Having only joined the operation at the last minute, Vita and Roselia decided to stay in Crossbow with Lloyd and Estelle. That settled, Reed and the others finally moved on to their real mission. Hey, uh, you know, Kia. This is your boy, Lloyd's Bannings. While we're here, I was thinking during all that uh, play stuff, you know, remember back when you were like, you know, the god of creation or whatever and could manipulate reality to do whatever you wanted? Yeah, Lloyd, is this about money again? No, it's something, it's something different this time. Lloyd's over the whole money thing. Y y what if when you had all that infinite godlike power and could create, you know, a new reality that for, you know, a better future and all that, could you have picked one where there wasn't a giant evil that was going to awaken in two years and kill us all like i just think that would be pretty pretty good idea if you if you'd done that kia when you were like master of the universe or whatever i mean i'm not like not like blaming you for the current situation or nothing kia i just think you know would have been kind of cool if you hadn't resurrected us into a world where there's a giant world serpent's gonna pop up and eat us all you know just just saying let that one air out for a bit i mean granted you know you can make the argument like, oh, if you're going to take the joke seriously which you shouldn't that it wouldn't really make much sense for her to be able to overwrite the great one if it's two septerions and she's just one septerion granted they do also say she's stronger than the mirage Welcome one to the new crimson wings so i don't know it doesn't really matter but i think it's a funny joke it warms my heart to be able to speak with you on the bridge like this again <laughs> i feel the same I apologize for all the trouble I must have caused you. <laughs> As you made your return aboard the Crimson Wings, your radiance was blinding, even through my mask. We both lost so much, but it seems that we've also gained much in its place. Yes, I would agree. I can see that just by looking at Class 7. I'm honored. Tobo was really happy too. Viscount having return must really be a weight off his chest. It really is a relief. I'm sure you're not in peak condition though. It put my mind at ease if you took a chance to rest now that you're aboard. Yes, yeah, I think I'll take up on that offer. Though the thought of not being able to help with a trial does weigh heavy in my heart. I'm gonna let it. Well, don't let it. I never had any intention of letting you are say to take up this mission in the first place. We can no doubt expect the remaining starter cavalry awaiting our arrival at the shrine. Putting the two of them in Lien, rather my lord Arianrod, is my role as leader of the Star Raider. I insist you enjoy a peaceful respite, Victor, the greatest swordsman in all of Erebonia. Whoa, did she just... Dooley? Oh, what, now you're gonna harangue me for simply speaking with a little courtesy? Oh, let's make fun of you? Nah. You normally take every opportunity to criticize the Arcade School, so... It's almost like you are jelly or something. Uh, listen, you. Allow me to take you up on your offer, oh true successor of the Steel Maiden's will. Please lend Reen and the others. Please lead Reen and the others. See that the rivalry is accomplished. Lead us? You're not leading us. I too have the strength to fight. If you'll have me, please let me know if I can be of use. Not as a fellow swordsman, but as a friend and ally. 
What are you saying? We've come this far together, haven't we? <laughs> She's been one of us for some time already, hadn't she? That's true. Not that we've always gotten along swimmingly. Ever since the workshop, she's kind of stuck with us the whole time, hadn't she? She's even been helping to revamp our training routines. And they're sorry, Ash. It's too soft to be a real enemy. Ash? She's sensitive about that. Don't talk about her ass. A everyone? Well, regardless of what's to come, let's just pause in the witty banter and get our asses in gear. It's time to hit up the Stella Sanctuary, stage for the third rivalry. Have you seen this rivalry through to the end? We'll follow your lead, Dooley. As your allies, you can count on us being right there with you. And if at all possible, please take me to the shrine too. Yeah, yeah, we will. Airbunny's future is Crossbell's future now. As a representative of Crossbell, I'd like to see what happens next with my own two eyes. You're also... Fine, do whatever you want. Just know that one cannot face my lord with half-hearted resolve. We require flawless preparation. We've already beaten her, like, a couple times. I hope you've steeled yourselves. Also, did Randy leave? Did you motherfuckers take away Randy from me? I don't remember them saying Randy left. Did they say Randy left? I mean, they didn't, they didn't say so, but I don't see him here, man. I really wanted to bring Randy for the Aryan Radio match. If need be, we can probably even set the ship down on this side of the Pillar of the Light. The Imperial Defense Force dispatch. Entering town would be a rather risky move right now. You should be fine as long as you don't venture beyond that beach off the shore of the side road. San Rosa Hospital should be safe to visit as well. Just let us know if you'd like to drop by. Alright, so we can do a little bit more talking. Okay, Randy's still here. He just didn't show up for some reason. Or I didn't see him. Alright, Crow. I mean, I guess you can stay. Who are we bringing? Mikeus, your time is done. I think. Who to fight Aryan Road? Who deserves to bathe in the blood of Aryan Road? Guys, we're not gonna use you, but we'll bring you. I don't know, you've kinda like, you have some scenes with Aryan Road, right? When you save Reen and uh, you, you fight her in CS3. Okay, maybe just cause they're set up, we'll bring you. And then Laura? Anyone else you wanna bring? Now, honestly, if I was smart, I'd bring fucking Usus because Noble Arc is so good. Because that's that was one of the things I think was holding us back. Because he didn't really have like a really good spammable offensive S craft, and there's like a Mega Operation, but and it was like kind of good, but like we just had like no way to really raise speed on everyone, which was kind of an issue. You know, we could bring Ash. Because we'll have, well, we'll have Lightning Sword. Granted, we had that last time. It's just kind of expensive. Hmm. Hmm. I, mean, I feel like your role, I think your job is done, Machias. I think you did good back there. But also you have Quartz, so I changed your mind. So our main four squad will probably be this. We'll set Reen back up as offense. Yuna will be support. Dooley will be kind of tanky plus slight support. And Randy will exist to Chevalier your ass. He's got a reputation to uphold as the Aryan Road destroyer. As the one who made Aryan Road fall to her fucking knees for the first time in the series. I mean, Grand was also Lloyd was there. Ah, uh, how wonderful gets a partake in such an excellent performance. You say look like you're enjoying yourself, Your Highness. Sounds like the performance came together perfectly. Honestly, I wish I could have been there just able to see it. I figured you said that, so we had a, I was just going to say they should have recorded that shit. Well, I was recording it, Reen. Figured you'd say that, so we had it recorded on a memory cord just so you could watch it. That we did. Perhaps we should gather a crowd for a group screening at some point. That could be fun, huh? It's going to find when everyone's free. Speaking of Quartz videos, I hear this one floating around of you in a rather daring outfit from the school festival, so shut up. Wh what? I wonder who told you about that. Gotta be Cora Angelica, that's no good as usual. 
Speaking of quartz videos, I hear that. Yeah, okay, you're supposed to say the same thing. We can go to Ursula Road and the wetlands and a medical college and. Oh, we can do one of our trial chests now. What do we need for that? I mean, you say Emma Duvali? Alright, yeah, we'll do that later. Would they even be upgrading? I guess one of Reen's. Because Muse... And yours is already maxed. So I guess Divine Song or Gold Dragon? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think Gold Dragon still needs something. Like, I don't really know what. Divine Song, I don't think, needs anything. I think it's quite strong where it is right now. Hey, Lenore, you're at the helm today, huh? Yeah, for today, anyway. Hey, Shroud, did you get a chance to hear Allie and the others sing? Yeah, it was over the Arcus too, and only the start, though. They were in really great form. I felt like I was sitting right there in the front row. That's great. We were all watching it back here on the ship, too. Not every day you get to see a performance that passionate. I'm totally pumped now. Call it motivation or inspiration or whatever. I just feel like we can really get it done. Glad to hear it. Yeah, we'll probably do magic in the next section, though. Or, uh... I mean, I guess we're fighting Rufus next. I, I just don't... I am fundamentally opposed to the idea of us doing this whole song and dance to fight Shed Cedric after slurping up Rutger and Aryan Road Souls. I just like I I don't think it's gonna happen. Now, do I see it possibly happening? Yes. Would it be stupid if we made a big deal out of fighting Cedric? Yes. Honestly, I think even fighting Rufus after this is gonna be kind of like anti hype. Luis, your father is a system engineer in Remy Ferry, is he not? Oh, is that how you got into programming? I guess he had a pretty strong influence, yeah? What's your father doing these days? Last I heard, he was at a startup company working on the Orville Network. I'm impressed you remember that. I didn't. Well, he recently started dealing with data from medical facilities, too. He does a lot of work in that line for the ceiling company. Wow, they're one of Remy Ferry's top medical equipment manufacturers, aren't they? Your father seems like a very capable man. Don't be fooled. Once he gets off work, he's a total slob. Like I'm always telling you, it's important to take time out to relax now and then. The Sealand Company. That must be Dr. Sealand's family, right? She works over at St. Ursula Hospital. Right, she's the surgeon in charge of His Majesty's upcoming surgery. Oh, the surgery's scheduled for today, isn't it? Indeed, as stressful as it may be, I know in my heart that Father will pull through. I just need to wait for the good news. Highness. Princess Alphen. Right, I'm sure we have good news ahead of us. I mean, he's probably fine, right? I mean, whatever it is, it can't be that, like, big a deal. If my man's been... Just fine for like two weeks. I mean, I know that's not really how like surgeries work, but like, um, shut up. Interesting to think how the whole world is connected like that. Yeah, it really is. I'm trying to think, what do we want to like prioritize? Oh, we have some hot spring stuff. Forms of success and the bear is vanished. Now it's finally time for the rivalry at the Stella Sanctuary. The next opponent, truly a legend. Maybe I should go ahead and try and rest up one more time? Hmm. Anne Sandlot, the maiden of legend. I caught sight of her in the special moon mirror and she was so incredibly kind and merciful. Her affectionate gaze wasn't only directed at him, but also at my mother, and even me as an infant. I kinda go out doodling in the others' adores so much now. I guess. I don't know. She is still kinda trying to end the world, so, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other, I guess. It means that someone's in here. This presence. Oh? Is that you, Schwarzer? Uh, Duvely, is that cheering with you? Wait, there's one more person too, right? Perceptive, it is a big deal after all. Oh. Oh. The Stella Sanctuary's Pillar of Light. Under there, the Seventh Anguis and the Star Ritter. Are certain to be waiting, fully prepared. But like, I mean, I know we had Aurelia helping us out, but like, we have Randy, and Randy's stronger than Aurelia. Easily. Not even fucking close. I'd like to thank you. Angelica, Sharon, and most of all you, Schwarzer. 
So, Duvali. At the Radiant Blade Master Trial at Orcus Tower, and also at the Draco Shrine before that. If you hadn't worked so hard, I wouldn't have been able to make it here today. At least let me thank you. Duvali? Part of your hard work involved helping us out, of course, and we were enemies at some point, weren't we? And I also, until fairly recently, stood before you as an adversary. I cannot thank you enough, Dooley, for providing Lady Elisa and Reem with your support. Well, you're all continuously supporting Class 7 as well before that, right? The love of everything thus far has led to this path to my lord as well as the rivalries. As I said before, I really must thank you all. Dooley. Let's do this together, then. She's strict but kind, I'm sure. Our feelings will reach her. This bath has truly refreshed with my mind and body. St. Battlefields of War, the lines await. It's about time that we finish our preparations and head out. Understood. I was hoping you and I could relax a bit. I also be better to leave that for after so it won't be a distraction to you. Don't you start imitating that red-haired menace? Yeah, I heard from Randy. <laughs> she seems famous over at Ouroboros along with Third Anguis. Why does Randy have to be a red-haired menace and Angelica's just like, stop? I don't know, man. At least Randy hasn't been like constantly horny. No, he's like occasionally horny. He has like just the acceptable amount of horniness. Gotta say, Uni, I'm impressed with your stamina. Kind of a whole lot stronger since I saw you last. I'd be worried if I hadn't considering everything I've been through the last couple months. Hey, Yuna, I see you wrote Randy and helping you train. You bet, my Tampa skills still have plenty of room to grow, but I'm not slowing down anytime soon. Figure my time in the CGF might have taught me some tricks I can pass on. Honestly, I still feel like Lloyd might be the better trainer here. Don't be so hard on yourself. Lloyd's kind of in a class of his own. And Yuna, know, don't trade too hard. I don't want you to time yourself out. Don't worry, I'll be totally fresh and ready for our next mission, I promise. You have you not broken a sweat yet, Randy? You make up your moves for move. You even match your move for move. Guess I still have a long way to go before I make up to your level. Yeah, not about to let you ever take me without a fight. Oh, Randy, I can't wait to just have you destroy Aryan Road. And by destroy Aryan Road, I mean, like, I can't wait to get fucking constantly all cancelled, never get a single buff up, and just die, and mauled and seethe. Hey, Dooble, you and Sharon doing some training? That's right, though I have to say, Sharon is surprising in more ways than one. You mean the... Outfit? Oh yeah, she is wearing her thing. Yeah, I kind of see what you mean. Reen, why are you making that face? It's something the matter, Reen. I feel like a fool for letting it get to me. I'm guessing ease of movement's not the only reason you wear that? Seems like it could also be a pretty distracting, especially if your opponent already finds you attractive. You know what also is useful in combat? Real fucking armor. That's exactly the intended effect. You even use your feminine beauty as a weapon. There's truly no end to an assassin's ingenuity. It's by no means limited to me. I think you'd be more than capable of utilizing this strategy yourself. Me? How dare you? We saw it our proud words. We fought with honor. I, I could never do something so lascivious. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I guess that makes sense in anime world. In real life, you just get fucking stabbed in the stomach easily and die. Do we have anything new? Nope. My apologies. You seem to have gotten sidetracked. Okay, let's continue sparring. I'm finding the experience highly enriching. But to face my lord, I want to improve my skills as much as possible. Who dares call- wait, haven't we already fought you? Look at that, Crow and Pablo facing off advantage masters. Now yeah, think of it, you're both pretty new to the game, right? Oh yeah, we just fought you as your, uh, part of your bond event. We didn't actually get to fight you, fight you afterwards. Hi, I think I started learning earlier, technically. Not that it makes a lot of difference. How did you get this good this fast, girl? You sure you're just a beginner? I'm a new to Vance Masters, but I'm a lawyer in a card game. Ah, damn it, this way. That goes my favorite pinup magazine. Well, I'm not surprised that's what you're gambling for, Crow. Ah, well, I see. This is a valuable learning experience for the kid. Sounds kind of a bit better since our last match, Rune. Right? Then we're due for a rematch. I just hope you're ready to lose. Hell yeah, bring it on. Right, game on. Oh, you lost? It's over? It's over for you, Traveler?
Okay, you will... Okay, actually, you're, oh, you're turbo fucking toasted. Alright, I mean... Did that. You made it to round three. I'm real fucking proud of you. You did so good. What'd they even do? Is that a vanish? Did we take damage? Nobody knows. Whoa! You wrecked me there. Disaster. Deal four damage to a row of enemies. Interesting, I suppose. Probably better than a vanish. Oh, you fool. Okay, you, you turbo fool? Yeah, yeah, controls, please cooperate. So what's your skill? Draw a card? It's only one mana. I guess it does take your action though. Uh, sir? Sir, you seem to have done some dumb shit. Are you aware that you've done some dumb shit? Oh, you're so lucky. You're actually so freaking lucky. I don't even- you, you don't even know how lucky you are? I'm going to lose my favorite pinup magazine. Whoa, train pinups? Is that even a thing? Tell me it's got girls in swimsuits at least. Oh, Kiro, always the kidder. Oh, you know what's in the line here. There's no giving up, so you'd best be ready to lose your train mag. Pa Pablo, wh what the hell kind of magazine went <laughs> in here? You're right, Crow. This was a learning experience. Go away, Rean. Aye, there's still hope yet. So he's a railway geek with a capital G. Damn, absolutely no motivation here. What do you have on the board? You have a penguin lord? Bro, oh, Crow, your deck is trash. Why do you have your gun lady EX in the first position? Pablo, what are you doing? Pablo! I mean, Crow's deck is, or board is better, so I guess he is winning. Pablo, what are you doing? Pablo! Boy well, and her dad are having tea. I should give them space. Come now, Rain. Join us. Don't pay me any mind. You already said everything we need to say to each other. I should have known I couldn't slip by without you then, Ersene. You're literally standing right next to us, Rain. How are you feeling, Viscount Arsene? Much better now, thanks to the ship's excellent facilities. One than anything, I feel grateful to be able to spend time with my daughter again. Father? Feels like you've grown up in the blink of an eye, Laura. I've heard rumors of something that's going on between the two of you. We'll get that matter alive for the moment. Father, as you know, Reed, nobody dates my daughter but me. Uh, now, Victor seems like actually fairly well adjusted. He's like the most normal Erebonian dad. Uh, thank you, sir. Actually, Craig. Craig he's like the second most normal Erebonian dad. Well, he did have that whole Elliot, you have to go to a military academy because I said so thing. Okay, so you know what? Never mind. Victor, he gets to be most normal Erebonian dad. He gets to go around the loop and be... Well, then again, you don't have to fight Teo. Teo's pretty normal. Eh, I don't know. He's kind of okay with Reen dating his daughter, so never mind. Victor, you get to win most normal Erebonian dad, the hot new game show, Sweeping the Nation. After a little more rest, I should be able to take on my sword again. I'm looking forward to spending some time in your training hall. Now, reindulge your guard down at the next sanctuary, understand? Now, be careful, Viscount. Thank you. I should be ready to take on my sword again after a little more rest. Looking forward to training with you somewhere on the ship. Now that the curse is gone, I feel I need to refamiliarize myself with my own body. 
such a relief to have father back again. It's not over yet. I'll be ready to jump right back into action once I've had time to recover. Well, hello, Reem. Would you like to try a sip of my latest concoction? Taking Freddy's tea, if I can try to oh so many different brews, I haven't really worked myself to the bone. I made this extra special tea for Vincent in the hope that it would help him relax after his figure's travels and lead up to the war. It's called Special Red Viper Frosty. That That's quite the name. Frosty as an in insect dropping tea? Sounds like she took a little too much feedback from Freddy. Sorry, but I'm not thirsty right now. What a shame. I mean, I get it. My initial thought is that sounds a little gross. But, I mean, honey's good, so... I, I guess it wouldn't necessarily be bad. Oh, so you're joining the tea ceremony today, Tatiana? She said she's been waiting to try it for a while now. I figure there's no time like the present. I've only read about etiquette in books, so sorry if I missed anything up. I'm gonna hook up on the little things, just trying to enjoy the experience. Right, the whole point is to relax and make the most of our time together. That and to hear all about the fascinating books you've been reading, those beautiful stories about passionate men. Okay, try not to spring too much on poor Tatiana in her first ceremony. Tea paired with such exquisite literary delights, I dare say we reach the apex of refinement. Would you care to join us in Tartarine? Sounds fun, but uh, I have to go polish my Tai Chi. Why do you have to say it? Okay. No, no euphemisms, alright? I know you didn't mean it like that, but, you know, considering the company, you can't trust them to not take it that way, alright? Oh, I just remembered something we have in common. It's just like all my anxiety melted away when I realized that. Musi and Tatiana opened my eyes to a world I never dreamed of. I'm prepared to spend today fully exploring it. So I've lots to learn, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Okay. Heard about Orcus Tower. Nice work, Kurt. Here you got help from an unexpected quarter. Yeah, seeing Mueller and Mother was one thing, but Uncle Zek was the last person I expected to show up. Oh, it sounds like you had your fair share of trials to overcome as well. Don't leave it with the Prince and the Instructors and the Old Class 7 away, you guys would have had to take care of the whole ship. It was hard not to be nervous, so compared to some of the field exercises we made it through, it was nothing to get worked up about. Gustav, I would say you and your fellow musicians may have had the greatest challenge of all, performing on a major stage. Well, given who we're with, it was a little nerve-wracking at first. Once we got started, though, Pablo and I just let the mood to carry us and had fun. Glad to hear it. Look at us. We're surprisingly a capable bunch. Hard to know that we are among friends that can be relied on, even in these circumstances. I can't help but feel proud of being a Thor's Branch Campus student and a member of the Radiant Wings. Oh man, you're drinking my favorite drink? Energy? I was anxious at first, but you were all so enthusiastic that I had a good time in the end. Still feel somewhat unreal. Almost like a dream, you know? What an experience it was. I wonder how many times oh, it was almost like a dream is used in the trail series. Like as a phrase? I see a little of the rehearsal through a live feed. Even that was enough to get across why people are so enamored with Arkansas, though. I'd love to see a full fledged performance of them someday. I only got to see a little of the rehearsal. Okay, so we can try and finish talking to everybody on the Courageous, at least. Got the perfect voice for Northern Rock. Gotta admit, you sound the greatest part of the chorus, too. But thank you. Dr. Sarah and Valerie. It's not often I see you two together. We got more in common than you might think. We're in the same province, for one. Well, that doesn't really mean anything. I'm from the same place as a lot of people who live near me and have nothing in common with them. Sally's actually in North Ambria, too. She moved across about two years ago and ended up joining Arkansas. Wow, I never knew. Hopefully this performance will give our fellow North Ambrians a little boost. I know I'm feeling inspired to do my part. Glad to hear that. Hey, what do you guys have to talk about? Salt? <laughs> Till recently, I didn't want to think about North Ambria. Seeing Sully work so hard has finally woken a bit of pride in my homeland for me, I suppose. That's why I'm putting salt in my energy drink. I reckon she's going through a pretty rough patch, though you'd probably never be able to tell looking at her these days. Looks like she's really overcome a lot together with her fellow Branch Campus members. Uh, are you sure you're feeling alright? I heard you passed out at the Arkansas show. What in the world happened? Well, as the scriptwriter, I felt obliged to keep a close eye on the show, but I was unprepared for the sheer destructive power of the pairing of Oliver and Joshua. The destructive power? Only we could harness it somehow. No, no, it'd be too dangerous. The world isn't ready for a weapon of that magnitude. I'm still not sure I follow. 
Your name's Kyle, yes, you're from the Military Finance Division? Never noticed before, you have a lot of potential of your own. I'm getting a ton of ideas for new parents already. It looks like the blood's rushing to your head. Here, let me help. I have a feeling beyond the ship, maybe he's a little too stimulating for Dorothy. Yeah, I get it, all right? I, I get the joke. You, you've used it a lot. I get it. Opens up a whole new world of potential shippings. Now, now, Dorothy, deep breaths. You need to take this slow. Did you need something? I need every female character to get a new joke. That's what I need. Take care. Did you need something? Here we are. We're gonna need these charges. I guess I could trade in my stuff. Please take your time. Take care. So I just got autistic problems I could help you with. What do you think my chances are with Ada? Like what percentage? Damn, you don't fool around, do you? Mm, how to slap a number? I'd say twenty percent, give or take. That's that's pretty good, Sydney. That's that's not bad. Only twenty. You gonna waste my time? Eh, I don't take it so hard. Still think it could happen. Just wouldn't be easy. That's all. Well, wait. You saying odd is into me? Did you say anything? Like I said, man, twenty percent. If you really like it, go for it. Good luck, though. You're gonna need it. Sydney just keeps jumping from one extreme to another. I'm impressed. Ash will take time out to help him with something like this. You know what, Ash, for being a bro? You're free. <laughs> no. Only have 20% chance of chemistry, huh? Not sure where you pulled the number from, but it means I'm still in the game here, right? Uh, Alright, I guess I gotta go for it then. Next up in I'm getting, I'm busting my best pickup lines on her. That's not a good idea. So when he plays chess, he doesn't know shit about strategy. It's hard to guess how things end up playing out with glasses. Oh my god, more vantage masters? How many freaking cards are on this ship? Hey, Emma, I'm Tina, taking a break for some tea? The stuff sure smells nice. Vita gave it to us. Apparently it's supposed to be good for taking care of your throat. She said to use it, she used to drink it all the time at the opera house. Emma added some armorican honey to it, so I think it should be very effective. Smart to get on top of it like this. You know, while both Altina and Vita's singing voices are amazing, I'm very excited to hear you sing again too, Emma. Oh right, weren't you the lead singer in the concert you put on at the school festival? Don't, don't remind me, I get embarrassed just thinking about how I ever got roped into wearing that costume. If I ever get the chance, I do think it would be fun to sing with you, Altina. Same here. And that's a moment one to miss. I'm exhausted from all the singing. I'm so glad the performance was a, was a success. But the war from the crowd at the end was so powerful it made me feel strangely fulfilled somehow. I don't know though, I've been enjoying Prom Party recently. I noticed that you play as well, so would you mind having a match? However, if you'd rather play VM, I'd be fine with that too. Ho 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 ho. Alright, okay. I do want to finish talking to everyone in this video, so we will just Palm. We will just Palm. That's not where that goes. I mean, of course that's where it goes. Oh god. I'm doing the thing where I make one mistake and then I have to think of something like to say about it. And then as a result, uh, I become great. Mm, possibly the greatest who's ever done it. Oh, 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 that doesn't go anywhere. Whoa, wait, wait, it goes here. And you go here. Then you do that, then you do that, then you do nothing. No, 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 no. We're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Please help. 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 I'm in trouble. I mean, you would think I'm in trouble if you're bad at the video game. All right. Uh. I mean, yeah, all according to plan, all according to the master plan. Oh, v uh, not Vito. Why do I call you Vito? Oh my god, he's palmed it? He's the greatest? Okay, you're still not, like, quite dead. But we're getting there. You're, you've almost been accepted. To the palm afterlife? Goodbye. For real this time. No, god, I always get baited. No, you're dead. No, you fuck. Oh, 
No, 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 no. I'm not overcommitting. You're overcommitting. Overcommitting to how dead you are? Oh god. I don't. I don't. I don't need this. You see, the thing is that I don't need this. You're, you're so fucking. You're such a piece of garbage. I hate you, Altina. Game start. I, I mean, we should have won. She just got lucky. She got so freaking lucky. You don't know how lucky she got. Only if you're as good at predicting the way the palms will fall as I am, can you understand the sheer, like, the billion to one odds she had to accomplish what she just did there. I don't, oh God. Uh, I need a green. You see, the thing is that your greens, they belong to me. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. No, 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 no. I win. But like, I was dropping it, and then my thing stopped dropping. Game start. Fucking computer brain bullshit. You may be thinking, aren't you putting them in all the wrong spots? No. I don't know what to do with this. I mean, we really should have won the first one. Like, I mean, she, like, actually got pretty lucky. Why do you do the things that you do? Like, can we can we talk about why you do the things that you do? That doesn't go there. That also doesn't go there. What the fuck is wrong with me? No, no, no. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is... Fine? Yeah. It's fine, because then we'll get the red, then we'll get the, then we'll get the thing, and then please give me a yellow, a yellow, calling all yellows. Nah, this is, we're pretty, pretty much guaranteed to win, I would say. No, 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 no don't fucking kill me. <laughs> That's not a green. I thought we were getting a green. I'm, I'm doing that thing again where I'm not paying attention to what's coming next. Oh, oh, ah, my master plan. This is the part where he's palmed it. That doesn't go there. I mean, it does. I lost. Once again, you have to lose Latina that many times, and then win the three CP remaining to unlock the secret event where um, she admits that she doesn't have any romantic feelings, and instead they're just gonna have like a like a brother sister father daughter relationship that's like kind of normal and not really fucking cringe. It's the only way. He used to teach me songs. He would sing together quite often. I really hope we'll be able to sing together again someday. I can see us performance couple with that music made for a truly moving experience. I've got it all recorded and ready to broadcast. <laughs> Playing it as a special presentation by Radio Trista. But it's a radio. How are they gonna play the mute video? I mean, I guess you can play the music, but that doesn't seem all that good. Evie and her crew seem to be playing some big before the fighting begins. I'm not about to let them show Radio Trista up. Just like that broadcast before, I plan to slip this past the military censors and light a fire in the hearts of our listeners. And frame it as a special show for the soldiers shipping out, I think getting a broadcast permission should be a cinch. The goal is to play a program that lights a fire in the hearts of our listeners. Why don't we... Here's a program we play. We uh, play Oliver on the freaking TV being like, yeah, Osborne tried to fucking murder me. Wow, so after all these years, that was how you finally partnered up with Higo? Hi, it was not easy to admit his mistakes, I'll tell you that. Hi, he's one forgiveness, so I'm gonna make him work for it. Then again, he is a wee bit more honest with himself than he used to be. Eh, that's worth some. Unless you nice have a rival you can trust to bring out the best in you. And overlook horrible crimes. Ah, you daft in the heat or something. We're not nearly as badly as that. I almost didn't hear about you and Gaius. You need to be sneaking out together an awful lot, lady. Wait, what? Me and Gaius? Oh, no, we're not. He's just a friend is all. The only thing we have in common is the art club. I uh, really sure there's nothing more to it than that. 
This is not a conversation for me. Keep walking, Rain. I mean, like, have we ever seen you and Gaius together? Is it in since CS2? Oh, it's you. Let's make one thing clear. Me and Hugo got a cute little couple. Got it. Or aren't some cute little couple. And causing enough trouble after he was acting so high and mighty. You gotta have to short things out to reduce shortage measures of compensation. You can believe that. It's the least he can do. I see you intend to use Kleiss's logistic numbers to get something started. Covering for Hugo like that. You, you must really care for him, huh? I right, quit making him myself. It's not like that. Um, Reen, you didn't hear what you thought you heard. That was nothing, really. Becky just likes teasing me about anything and everything, that's all. Uh, right, sorry, didn't mean to eavesdrop. It's just me or she blessing her a little. It's okay. I guess you're Gaius' squire then? The first person Gaius talks to more than two times? Instant squire status? Something to help reinvigorate everyone after back to back trials of the performance. That's right, Tita picked up some honey and crossbow. I want to put it to good use. I just don't put anything weird in it this time, okay? Those weird ingredients help give a dish character, but okay, that's what you want, coward. How's flan sound? That's safe enough for you. Sounds great. Thanks, Freddy. And while you do that, I'm going to make a honey ice cream sponge cake. I feel a lot better about these snacks. No insane is there to keep Freddy in line. I don't know. You, should you eat cake before a big fight? All my staple unusual ingredients are off limits for the dish, huh? It's going to be a real challenge. Bring it on, then. Hoping the difficulties got me even more fired up for it. <laughs> You've got good taste. They put a little, <laughs> come again. Put a little Sandy's toes hey. in it. That'll teach her for trying to tell <laughs> Freddy good taste. what to do. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> You've got good taste. Come on, give it a try. Well, the menu sets. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking honey ice cream cake. We'll need to make a mountain's worth and chill it. Have some after dinner if you like, instructor. Oh, we're having it. Ah, oh yeah, I think you did say after back-to-back -back trials, right? All right, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Elliot, the training you put everyone through last night was positively draconian. <laughs> Seriously, music involved, you don't mess around. Pff, fucking sink or swim, motherfuckers. Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. Well, every once I worked out that it might have gone a little overboard to match. So many people and so many walks of life all came together to make this concept a reality. It's still kind of hard to believe. I'd love it if we could all get together to reform again sometime. Just learned like this thing with Monarchy is like at the school festival. Oh, you two harmonize so well! There you have it, Yusuf. The maestro has spoken. Fine, I know better than trying to argue with Ellie about music. Got a long way to go, but I'm really glad this performance went well. I'd love to make a reform with you and the others next time, though. I was about to sing with Machius again. I know better than trying to argue with Ellie about music. Alright, Reen. It's, it's gonna be okay. Just fucking get it over with. Alright. Elisa, uh, Jessica, Angelica. Uh, how about that? Everyone from Norti is all together. You guess we are funny and never made a connection. Well, we didn't mean to after leaving home. We could have passed each other back in Rua and never even noticed. Yeah, that's so weird. It's too bad Rua's under such strict surveillance. If I didn't fun to hit the town again. No, have you seen Rua? It's anything but fun. There's like literally nothing there. I mean, I guess like the jazz bar, it had some okay music. But that's it. But you can go back once it's all over. You're welcome to join, Reen. You're from Northia too, after all. Hey, you mentioned I'd love to visit Ymir someday. We'd love to have you. I'll break out some real old-fashioned hospitality. You might as well call us the Three Sisters of Northia. If I lived in the same room as these two lovely ladies, oh, it's magic giving me. Yep, okay. Did they say they were sisters in this scenario? Reen. Reen, do you not see the cognitive dissonance at play in this statement? Reen. Do you? So Jessica, I heard you were in the tennis club with Yuna. That's why we probably have a lot in common with you and the lacrosse club. It'll be fun to get together sometime and learn each other's games. That's about the water scene. Let's see. The worst kids burn through supplies like here tomorrow, so I better stock on that stuff. Oh, Geezer from Aaron helped me out. It's another one of bonus room. You know, with the ambient order and deep shit, which makes it a pain to manage all the orders flooding him. Eh, ship whatever I got on hand via Kappa and order in more ASAP. Can't leave my customers without their boomsticks and the war's about to start. You, you've expanded your customer base, I see. And you set up potential buyers to secure new supply routes without telling Mama. Business really took off thanks to that. I'm dealing with the army, volunteer soldiers, the mafia. It's awesome. Talk about some unsavory bedfellows. Well, you see, I'm in no position, so... You sell what I need, so I'm in no position to moralize. I mean, I, got some good stuff. I I guess you are 
technically correct, Rain. These are just better. I got fucking jabated into buying garbage again? I mean, we have infinite money, so it doesn't fucking matter. Also, I still never upgraded our weapons. Because it's... How much are you losing? Okay, you're actually losing like 100 defense. So maybe this is actually old. No, you're not losing 100 defense. Oh, look at your strength, not your defense. Done already? Want to buy something? I don't know, we'll at least buy like two. Come on, buy some more. Uh, Ruarf? Sounds like a fair price. Can you give me five more cases? Oh, there's also something I'd like you to acquire through alternative means. Roll oh, my fucking dog. Bow wow? Service point to an item on the price list with his paw. Oh, I can get a discount for buying in bulk. That's a good deal, and you got some decent products, too. Hmm, you may even to think about it. Sounds like some serious negotiation going on there. But I'm really watching a business transaction between a man and a dog. It's no big deal. What does my life become? <laughs> wow, you really know how to make a sale, don't you, Cerberus? Here to stock up. Hey, I still have read the Imperial Chronicle. Remember when I said I was going to read that shit? Me Take neither. Care, then. Let me know what you need. How many, uh, is that a curiosity? How many droplets do I have? Oh my God, we have so much fucking money. I don't even want to sell them, man. I like the illusion of being poor. In video games exclusively. Okay, I said I didn't want to sell them, but then I thought about what if, what if I had a little thing called an, you know what if I stock up? a little thing called an, um, I be shadow. You know where to find me. Alrighty. Can we talk? Do we talk to you a second time? Set a new supplier out as my own private little venture is a great idea. Now I'm busy as hell. One ain't having a new market to give me all these opportunities. Shipping the goods is a pain in the ass. I need my own ship. It's a pretty good deal. I can't ask for more than that, after all. Well, it's quite likely that service was quite intelligent to begin with. It's thanks to Jinko's training, he's capable as he is now. Yeah, training that taught the dog to fucking read. Are we done here? Yes. He's screaming? I said no thank you. Why don't you give it a rest? Uh, guys, explain. Oh, Zio came to land on the ship for a bit of rest, and I'm gonna bump into a napping Celine. And then he said, remember how Roselia had those big fucking wings? What if I, like, grabbed you and we flew around and we were the new holy beast? Or something. My translation's a little, a little loose. I think he still has a kind of solidarity with her. They both helped to support Class 7 in their own ways, after all. Makes sense. Guess that means Sling can understand what Zio's saying? Oh god, no. Uh, from the look of it, yes. Of course, a traveling minor for a familiar of my stature. Right, so what were you two talking about just now? Zio wanted to share some of his food with me as a show of goodwill. I told him I don't eat earthworms, but he won't lay, he won't back down. He's telling me how nutritious they are. It's going to take a while to convince him I'm not just being a picky eater. Well, at least he's not trying to throw it up in your mouth. Ah, so that's what it was. At any rate, he looks happy to have made a new friend he can talk to. Selene interpreting Zio's thoughts for me is definitely something to take in, to say the least. Still, I can't tell how much he's bright enough for me and able to properly communicate how he feels. You know, getting the idea. If we're talking fish, I'd be happy to share. Uh, uh, uh. Alrighty. We're trying to wrap this up and then we still have we still have a few things to do. Uh turn in all our gifts, read the Imperial Chronicle, and do the Vantage Masters, but that'll be the start of the next video. That rehearsal is really something to give me chills. Yeah, I still kinda of saw the show, but everyone else did a great job too. 
Stellan Chair is dancing, Josh is harmonica, Ren singing, and it's all so enchanting. I'm glad you enjoyed it, and I'm so proud of them. I think most of the Liberal group are artsy types. That's true. It's a pity we didn't get to hear you sing too, Tita. I don't know about that. I'd probably be too nervous to sing in front of a crowd that big. You probably got more experience with that than me, Fee. Didn't you perform at your school festival? Yeah, Amelia and I were almost backup singers. Huh, if I remember right, George recorded our whole concert on memory courts. Maybe we should track it down and give it a watch for old time's sake. Oh, cool. I'd love to see it. Sure, why not? You and Maki have been doing their best to forget about it. That'll make it all the more fun. Speaking of memory courts, Toa's famous performance the year four hours should be recorded somewhere too. I need another film to watch with the whole gang. Academy Festival, huh? I hope we can all do something together one day. Yeah, that'd be good. Taking a coffee break over here? Instant would have sufficed with this fellow insisted on brewing us a fresh pot. I heard some time back that the professor was a coffee person. So I thought I'd brew him a pot of the best coffee we had to help refresh him. I expect no less from a connoisseur like you, Machias. But what do you think, Professor? Do you approve? It tastes like garbage. Not bad, not bad at all. Did you miss a room and even take the temperature and humidity of the room into account in brewing it? I have proud myself on it. Hmm. Too much of a nerd for me. Rejected. You cannot be my fifth disciple. I take it back. Just calling you a connoisseur doesn't do you justice. There's one thing, though. You failed to consider the effects of the ship's altitude and the resulting change in air pressure. I give you an A-, it's not bad, but still room for improvement. I, I suppose that's fair. I'll try better next time. That's just a tough egg to crack, though I think Machias can get through to him eventually. Sir, I'm trying to talk to you. A mathematical cause lies at the root of all problems. You only need to know how to find it. Well, if he's reached a decent level, but he doesn't understand that much, then he's got a long way to go. Well, is it A- minus or decent? I realize the taste was weak, but I understand the reason why. I guess Professor Smith looks at the world in a different way. Hi, Irene. Great work taking over my tower. Thanks, Ben. I loved your performance, by the way. You weren't there. Phoebe, I'm guessing you're here to interview everyone who took part? You bet. I never let a scoop like this one just melt away. So, Mick, honey, a statement. How'd it feel to be a key part of such a momentous musical milestone? Well, since you asked so nicely, I was really nervous at first, but I just took a deep breath on my lungs. Carry me through. I guess you could say an incredible success rests entirely on my masterful instincts as a flute player. Now let's have all the bits I got wrong. Oh, it never change. It was really fun to form alongside Instructor Mary again, too. Makes me wonder how things ended up between her and Uncle Makarov. Me too, now that you mention it. Right? It's in two years already. I mean, come on, make a move. Makarov? You can barely call us an interview anymore. The next issue of the Crossroads Times is also going to have a big feature about the rehearsal. They asked us to send them in some interesting tidbits to add to it. It's going to be the front page article. Just you see, I'll make sure of it. That was so much fun. It's been a long time since I've seen Instructor Mary. I wonder if the sparks are still flying between her and Uncle Makarov. Such an awkward dork. I don't know how he gets by without me to look out for him. Valor is still an empty. Now it's finally time for the third rivalry. The Seal Maiden awakes. We seem to give it everything we've got. This battle with a gray on. You can expect it to be a bigger challenge than any we've ever faced before. Ashen Awakener? No. Reen? I, too, will provide as much support as I can. Thank you so much, Ordeen. Alrighty, so we will call it here. Actually, let's, uh, while I'm thinking about it, Making I want to turn in everything. Oh my. Seems you had it tough. Until now. No. Oh, wow. More droplets. Oh my god, so many freaking droplets. Let me take wow. Then I think we've done this, okay. So alright, next time we will battle the one known as Altina in the game of Masters that vie for the vantage over their enemies. Yeah, that's the full name of the game. They just shorten it to Bandage Masters because it's a bit of a fucking awkward mouthful. And we're the Imperial Chronicle and turning gifts. Now, will I remember any of these? I will at least remember Altina because there's a big icon. We got that going for us. Alrighty, I'm Acrocheese87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.